Hey guys, it's Coach Alexa, and today I'm going to be taking you through your workout of radar. So to get started with our warm-up, we have 30-second stations with shuttle runs in between each, and I'll explain the shuttle runs in a minute, but that first station that we're going to start with is active Spider-Mans. So for our workout today, we have double dumbbell deadlifts, lateral dumbbell burpees, and a lot of running, so we want to go ahead and get warmed up properly, starting with these active Spider-Mans. We go down for our active Spider-Mans, you're going to go into a lunge. That back leg is going to be off of the ground. And you're going to lift the same arm that you have your leg in the front up and open your chest up towards the front for those burpees. You're going to change your hands, change your feet, and open up again at the top. Again, warming up for the burpees, warming up our glutes for the run, and for the double dumbbell deadlifts. All right, guys, once your 30 seconds are up with your active Spider-Mans, we're going to go for 30 seconds of shuttle runs. For your shuttle runs today, if you are in your driveway, if you're in your garage, anywhere that you have about 10 meters to run, you're just going to run to the end. You're going to turn around and keep going. And we're going to do those shuttle runs for 30 seconds between each station. The purpose of the shuttle runs Again guys, we have a full mile in our workout today. We have running and we also have lateral dumbbell burpee hops. So we want to make sure our calves are properly warmed up for that run and those burpees. After we finish our 30 seconds of shuttle runs, we're going to go into 30 seconds of mountain climbers. With your mountain climbers, we're going to keep our core nice and tight. Hands are going to go on the ground underneath our shoulders. And you're going to tuck your knee into your chest and go back. To get that heart rate going, we're going to pick up the pace and go for 30 seconds. After your 30 seconds are up, go into those shuttle runs again. Another 30 seconds of shuttle runs before going into 30 seconds of frog hops. For our frog hops today, we're going to open up our hip flexors, warm up our legs in that posterior chain for those deadlifts. So we're going to start, feet are going to be about shoulder width apart, you touch the ground, go into a squat. So knees go out, chest stays up, and you will jump to a full extension and go back down. Touch the ground, jump, and keep going for 30 seconds. After your 30 seconds of frog hops, you will go another 30 seconds of shuttle runs, and then into your push-up to down dog. For your push-ups to down dog, we're going to go for a normal push-up. Hands are going to be underneath our shoulders, elbows are going to go slightly out, chest touches the ground, Come back up to the top, head goes through the window into that downward dog. If you need to scale the push-ups, go ahead and go on your knees, chest touches the ground, elbows are slightly out, come back up to that full extension, feet are going to go down on the ground, and push your head through the window. We're going to do this movement for 30 seconds. After that, we're going to go for another 30 seconds of our shuttle runs, and then into 30 seconds of air squats. Alright guys, we're almost done with the warm-up. For your air squats, feet are going to be hip width apart, toes slightly angled out, you're going to push your hips down and back, keep that chest up, knees go out, break parallel if you can, and stand to a full extension. Again, we're warming up that posterior chain, warming up those legs for all the work that we have in our workout today. After you finish your 30 seconds of air squats, we'll go back one more time into 30 seconds of shuttle runs, and then we finish our warm-up with slow burpees. For your slow burpees, we are warming up for the burpees that we have in the workout today. So you're going to go down, hands go on the ground. You can jump or step out. Chest touches the ground, and come up. Bring your feet to your hands, and jump all the way up overhead for 30 seconds at a slow burpee pace. Now that you guys have finished your warm-up, we're going to go ahead and go into the workout. Today's workout is going to be about 20 minutes long. We're going to work on our aerobic endurance today. Starting with a 400 meter run. For your run, guys, you're going to go out, take that run nice and steady, keeping in mind that we have an entire workout ahead of us. So come on in. When you finish your 400 meter run, you're going to go for 9, 12, and 15 of dumbbell, dum, double dumbbell deadlifts and lateral dumbbell burpees. I guess so for those double dumbbell deadlifts, we're going to hold on to our dumbbells. We're going to have them 
them by our side, angle them downwards, keep your feet hip width apart, and you're going to push your hips back, squeeze your shoulder blades together, one head of each dumbbell touches the ground, and stand to a full extension. Alright guys, keeping that back as flat as possible, all the way up, working on that posterior chain. You will go for nine reps, and then into your lateral dumbbell burpees. Alright guys, if you only have one dumbbell, that's okay. We're going to follow the same technique. One head of the dumbbell touches the ground, stand to a full extension. Just try to make sure that our shoulders and hips are square the entire time. After we finish our nine double dumbbell deadlifts, we will go into nine lateral dumbbell burpees. For your lateral dumbbell burpees, we're going to be side by side to one dumbbell. Alright guys, make sure that other dumbbell is out of the way. And we're going to go into a burpee. Jump or step out, chest touches the ground, come up to the top, and hop over your dumbbell. That is going to count as one rep, and you have nine. If you guys are uncomfortable jumping over the dumbbell, or you do not want to hop over, you may step over. Make sure both feet are over before you go into your next rep. If you need to scale down that burpee, we're going to go into a bodybuilder. Hands will go on the ground, you can jump or step out into a high plank position. Come up to the top, and again, jump or step over that dumbbell for your reps. After you finish your nine lateral dumbbell burpees, or bodybuilders, or whatever you choose to do for that substitution, we're going to go into 12. You'll do 12 double dumbbell deadlifts, 12 lateral dumbbell burpees, and then into 15 and 15. After you finish your 15th lateral dumbbell burpee, you will go into an 800 meter run. On this run, guys, pace yourself out. Make sure that you are breathing. Try to control your breathing because when you come back in from that 800 meter run, you have 15, 12, and nine of the same couplet. Double dumbbell deadlifts and lateral dumbbell burpees. All right, guys, so you're gonna do your 15 double dumbbell deadlifts, 15 lateral dumbbell burpees, 12, 12, nine, and nine. After you finish that ninth lateral dumbbell burpee, you finish the workout with a 400 meter run, come in and you'll get your time. All right guys, so that is our workout for today. That was Radar, so I hope you guys enjoy. Have a great workout and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.